Paris, Penina, Daniel, and Petronilla have not had so much harvest in their recent years. They are from eastern part of Kenya, which is a semi-arid land. The region experiences poor rains and therefore it is generally dry. But today some portions of the farms here are all green. Though the rains stopped months ago. And the harvests are plenty. Katika shamba langu nilikuwa nimepanda maharagwe. Nilipanda maharagwe kilo mbili ambapo nilifuna kilo 28. Hapo nilipanda mahindi. Already nimevuna ki, kiasi ya kilo tano. Ambapo nilipanda nusu kilo. Na bado zingine zingali hapo bado hazijakauka. Natarajia kupata kitu kama 10 kg. Kuna baadhi ambapo ziko mahali pale. Zimechanua already. Bado nangojea kama 2 months ambapo nitaweza kuvuna baadhi zangu. Kwa hivyo katika hiyo kipengele ambapo ni sehemu ndogo sana imenipa manufaa zaidi na katika shamba wangu na ndima hii kilimo hifadhi na kilimo hifadhi hifadhi nimeanza kwa ku, ku, kutafuta maji yani kupanda mvua kwa mchanga yangu e, nimetengeneza mitaro na pia e, nimetengeneza smile bumps na pia kuna e, planting holes ambazo ninachimba naweka mbolea naweka katika hiyo shimo naweka mbolea ninaweka jivu na matawi ambayo imekauka na changanya yote pamoja na hii smile bam pia naiweka mulching na pia naiweka mbolea naweka jivu na ile mimea ambayo napanda napanda hapo kwa hiyo shamba yangu ina nyingi kuna kunde kuna mahindi kuna maharagwe kuna malenge na kuna eh pigeon peas na hata kumtama iko na hizo vitu zote zinafanya vizuri kwa ajili ya ile mbolea ambayo nimeweka na maji ambayo nime nimeipanda kwa mchanga yangu hata nikiangalia kwa mashamba ya majirani ninaona mahindi mahindi yao yamekauka yangu bado ingali tu inaendelea vizuri The farmers are beneficiaries of regenerative agriculture project being implemented here by Biovision Africa Trust and NVU East Africa. Ulipomaliza training, I came back immediately I started by I started with the smile bombs. Nikachimba katika kila mti niko na fix at under every tree i dug a smile bam nusu mutarui so after that i planted a variety of crops i planted sweet potatoes i planted uh, zoo i i planted uh, pumpkins i planted maize i planted beans and uh, all of them did very well reason because of the water that i had planted so when the other part of my shamba was drying this part of it did not dry uh, so i had uh, good yield that was for the first time we started after the training actually many farmers believe due to erratic rain patterns we can't produce enough food for us but uh, regenerative agriculture as solutions to food security in our in our area our project has started with 70 farmers who are practicing and last rain season we have seen a lot of difference because most of the farmers have produced enough food for their domestic use and even the surplus for for making income regenerative agriculture is a holistic approach that goes beyond sustainable farming practices 
It focuses on restoring the health and vitality of the soil, promoting biodiversity and sequestering carbon. By employing techniques such as cover cropping, crop rotation and minimal tillage, Regenerative farmers work in harmony with nature to reduce soil fertility and enhance ecosystem health. Water management is crucial in regenerative agriculture. Farmers employ techniques such as contour farming, which slows down water runoff and reduces erosion. Here, Farmers are using smile bumps to harvest and retain rainwater. Rainwater harvesting methods are implemented to capture and store water for dry periods. We are trying to bring back the water to the farm by making sure that we prepare very important structures which we are calling bioswells and others just which we make around the trees which are called, which are called smile bumps. The essence of this is to make sure that we divert the water from the runoffs through the catchments, which we are calling the swells, and then making it available to the farms. The bums are very much important for the purpose of holding the water and bringing it closer to the, to the trees, to the fruit trees and all the rest of the trees in the farm. So water harvesting is very important and just immediately we make some holes for planting the seedlings we prepare this bump so that we can be able to make sure that water is uh, accumulated there for the purpose of nurturing the trees and the crops on the farm. The component number two is on diversification. We are training the farmers on uh, integrating different types of tree species and also crops in the farm, forming different layers in the farm so that uh, we, we form this kind of different canopies to make sure that the crops in the farm depend on one another in terms of uh, uh, forming uh, 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 a kind of an ecosystem where uh, water is not lost in the soil. They form a shadow just above the, the rest of the crops and the trees to make sure that after we receive the rains, the water which is banked in the soil it is available even the, the, the rains are, when the rains are over for use by the, by, by the crops and the trees. So that is the essence of diversification and again there's the, the, the other reason why we are doing di diversification of different trees and the crops is to make sure that some of the crops are increasing soil, soil fertility in the soil, they are fixing nitrogen in the soil and again when some of them shed especially the cover crops they continue adding more organic matter in the soil and uh, in the long run you find that the organic matter makes the soil improved in terms of soil fertility. These farms, beaming in the glow of their productivity, were once considered infertile. The farmers here struggled with poor rains, getting poor yields. But Biovision Africa Trust and NVU East Africa camped here trading farmers on regenerative agriculture. Step 1 involved the site assessment where the team engaged with the community by facilitating the farmers to gather the information that informed the resilient design. Resilience design is uh a design uh, which is set with several goals uh, which will enable a farmer in an area where we have uh, we don't experience enough rains to produce. One being designing your farm to harvest rainwater. Number two, to ensure that you cover your soil to reduce evaporation and sustain our crops through the, throughout the growing period to ensure that they will produce. Using natural resources around you to reduce cost of production and to produce 
safe food without using chemicals. We also, in resilience design, we also plant diverse crops which benefit each other. For example, we know maize is a heavy feeder and we plant it with either beans, cowpeas and another legume. And you know now the legumes are heavy givers, so they promote our soil fertility. And that is also we plant other trees like uh, lucena and any other nitrogen fixing trees to ensure that we, we promote our soil fertility, which we know it's the key goal to produce enough food because you know most of our soil are depleted, they don't have enough nutrients to support our crops. This is important as it helps to observe and recognize local resources, identify influences affecting the site, and understand the current farm practices, the culture, history, and the shock and the stresses that affect the farm site. Step two involves the site analysis to analyze the information gathered in the site assessment to inform and initiate the site design. The analysis is necessary to understand the resources and influences effectively. Step 3 is the site design that aims at using the information and the critical thinking from the previous two steps to design a site that optimizes resources and influences for more resilient farming system. Ephraim is a tool used to design our farm, uh, especially when we are making the water structures. And it is very simple to make. We normally use the locally available materials like the used timber, you can use also the straight uh, tree poles to make it. It is used like the plumbing line which is used by masons when they are constructing a wall because it is connecting different points to ensure that uh, when we are making either a contour or a smile bump, we are getting it, we are getting the right gradient to ensure that our water is flowing slowly spreading and sinking into a farm. The reason is that because uh, this area is mostly affected by climate change. And many times farmers are not getting enough production because of poor rainfall patterns. The sun strikes very hard and farmers lose a lot of water which is collected on the farms, which is collected after the rains. And really, we see that farmers are losing a lot because of this. And the rains come for a very short time. So after that, the farmers are left suffering because most of the crops start struggling to survive. So a major problem, and that is the reason why we are talking about regenerative agriculture, which is uh, addressing more, most of these challenges which the farmers are facing. This helps a farmer leverage relationship between different resources and influences to increase production and resilience to environmental, economic and social shocks and stresses. Tena pia katika hii kilimo sijatumia chemicals. Chakula yangu najua ni chakula kizuri. Eh nimejaribu kuweka kwa shamba yangu eh kama ni spray zile dawa ambazo Ni zile miti ambazo tuko nazo ndio tunatengeneza e, tuna tuna spray kwa mimea zetu atumi chemicals hata hatukupanda na fertilizer na nimepata mavuno ya kutosha na shambani mwangu si kutumia fertilizer The final step is the site monitoring and feedback which aims at learning about the effectiveness of the current farm design and identify areas for improvement this is necessary for improving the design and production of the site. The design of the farm needs to be continually reassessed as the landscape is continually evolving and the climate changing. Nilikuwa natumia hela mingi 
kwenda sokoni lakini wakati huu nina save kwa yale mapato nimepata katika hiyo kilimo kwa hivyo ninawahimiza na naimiza wanarika wenzangu na wakulima wenzangu waanze kulima hii kilimo ili wapate manufaa vile nimepata Paris Penina Daniel and Petronilla thanks the Biovision Africa Trust and Envy East Africa for making their dreams stay alive.